what's up Devos? it's your girl april so this is going to be basically a recap an update whatever you want to call it for this lace front wig that i do have from dy77 hair um first of all i did get this a minute ago and i do like it a lot because for one it's a lace front it is deep wave brazilian hair but it's a very full wig so I will link the original video for you guys below. But when I first got this wig, it really didn't strike me as something that I was really going to like as much because it really didn't look like it was super full. Like, I think it was going to get big like that. But girl, mm. and I think it looked rather cute on me too. Um, also, I did have it on in a real talk, but lately I have been wearing it like this. As y'all see, I got the headband on, the head wrap. If you're interested in knowing how to wrap it like this with a scarf, a scarf on, then I will also link my head wrap tutorial video down below. But for me, this is a whole lot easier because I cannot stand for the hair to be on my neck anymore. And it's not just with this particular wig, it's with any wig. So a lot of times I have not been wearing a lot of my straight wigs. I've been wearing curly ones. And when I wear the curly ones, I will put on a head wrap and kind of like hike it off, off my neck. I've been wearing this one like this for like two weeks now. It's a lot easier to maintain and it's also thinner on the frontal area. Area. even though it's a lace front I just pull it back a little bit pull my hair out and push the headband on and that's about it and it works out perfect for me okay plus it's like I said it's a lot more lightweight so anyway so let's get on to the recap of this hair how has it been holding up has it been holding up it's actually been holding up really well like I said when I first got it I really didn't think too much of it because it looked kind of like really really thin it was like oh girl where you about to go with that but once you wash it hang it upside down to dry you get so much volume not only that but dy77 hair they have some really good hair this is not my first um rodeo with them you know what i'm saying meaning the first time with them they have some gorgeous hair like i have done their bundle hair and i still have that wig and that wig is bomb and i used box dye on their hair and it's beautiful but for the most part for their hair it has been holding up it did shed a little bit in the beginning you know a little bit here and there but i like the fact that it's loose um not loose excuse me it's lightweight so it's not heavy like I because I love big hair I like the fact that it's a very minimal amount of hair but then you can just fluff it puff it and poof you got yourself like some big hair and it doesn't tangle like that it's soft and also it's virgin so if you want to dye it or do whatever you want to do to it then go ahead me I just left it as it is because I love the curls they're really pretty they get loose they can get tighter you can curl it if you want to with your own wand curler or your flat iron but I don't do that with my curly hair I just like to wear it curly and I don't wet it every day I just take it off at the end of the day and I put it on my little mannequin head and then the next day I put it back on and I put it up like this. You first get the hair and you see it, you're like, girl, what am I supposed to do with this? But like I said, if you wash it, once you get it, you're supposed to wash it. So wash it and hang it upside down to dry like on a hanger. You'll get so much volume and then when you put it on and pull it out, you get, it, it looks just like this. Like it seriously looks like this. Like I like my hair to be full. I do like DY77 hair. They have good hair. It's very affordable hair. You can get either wigs or bundle hair, frontals, closures hair the hair did help hold up really well i don't do much to it like you know what i'm saying like when i wash it i shampoo it i don't shampoo excuse me i don't shampoo it i just um condition it and i don't deep condition i use the garnier conditioner i let it sit in the hair for like a couple of minutes and then i rinse it out i'll spray some cream of nature leave-in conditioner in it and i'll hang it upside down to dry sometimes i may put some of the organics um coconut quenching curl cream in it and just leave that in it and let it dry but other than that i really don't have to do much to it the hair always keeps its moisture it holds its moisture especially if you know how to take care of it and you're using the right product plus it doesn't tangle like that it's very soft hair and looks can be very deceiving with this hair meaning when you first get it you will really feel like it's not enough hair the volume is not going to be there but trust and believe when you finger comb through it you get in volume plus some okay so yes i will post the original video as well as the website down below i hope you guys enjoyed this recap video and as always make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up if you felt it was helpful and stay diva and divalicious i love you guys and i will see you on a soon to come video